Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another Devos with Carly. Grab your Bibles and we're going to look through this book called How Great Is Our God and we're going to do some Devos together. So, the ground we stand on is not as solid as it seems. See, the ground beneath our feet is made up of dirt, rocks, and minerals. Now, water from rain and underground streams and different things like that constantly seep in and slowly wear away um, those rocks and minerals. And this wearing away of these rocks and minerals is called eroding. Now, over time, it can wash away the underground bedrock support that holds up the surface land. So all the water that's coming into the rocks and minerals, it gets in and it washes away the, the base, the main support, which is called the bedrock. And that's when you get what is called a sinkhole. Maybe you've heard of that before, maybe not. A sinkhole can form slowly over time, or it can show up in an instant. Some are just a couple of feet across, you know, one or two feet. Some can be more than 2,000 feet wide. Sinkholes generally occur in places where the bedrock, the bottom, the base, is a weaker material that easily erodes. Or dissolves and so when builders are looking to put up a new building or something like that they they're looking at where they can build and they need to carefully check the ground so that they're starting their building on a solid foundation so that's that's what sinkholes are and that's what we have to look for when we're building things in you know outside in the real in normal life and stuff like that but when it comes to our own lives and our character and we're building who we are well God tells us to do the same when we're trying to build our lives you see in the book of Matthew chapter 7 in verse 24 there's a story that Jesus tells and he talks about someone who's wise and someone who's foolish. Now the wise person, Jesus says, would build their house on a solid foundation where their house won't be wrecked by the wind or weather or anything that comes at it. And a foolish person is someone who builds their house on something not so solid like sand. If you build your house on sand, then that's, that ground, that foundation is going to wear away because it, it's easily moved and dissolved, right? And that's how we get eroding and that's how we get sinkholes. So this is what Jesus is saying when it comes to building our lives. So my question for you is what is the foundation for your life? This is something you can think about when you're, when you're however old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are to think about how you are building the foundations of your life. Where are you putting your faith? And that's what we're talking about all month long on Sundays is faith. So where is your faith going? Is it in something that could erode and break down really easily? Like maybe money or your grades in school or even your friends? Or is your faith in Jesus? the one who has showed up time and time again, and he's showed you that he will keep his promise and his love for you is unmatched. So in Matthew chapter seven, in verse 24, it says this, so then everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. He builds his house on the rock. So if you want your house, your life to be built on a solid foundation, then put your faith in Jesus and learn from his words and then put those words into practice. So let me pray for you right now. Dear God, we thank you that you will never shift or change. You're not easily broken or moved. 
like some of the things in this world. We know that we can always count on you. Help us to remember that even when times get tough and help us to put our faith in you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, everyone said together, amen. We're gonna put up 30 second timer and I want you to spend some time talking to God and asking him if there's anything in your life that you have put your faith in that isn't a solid foundation. And if you point something out to you, like maybe it's your friends or your grades or something like that, then ask him to help you to, to get past that and to put him before everything else in your life.